Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, our reporter, I'm Brian go. Anderson. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. Not quite sure what happened. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. And both teams tonight aren't afraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think it can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Greg. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2,000, 1,500 season had never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, Never really seen that before. And they double up Jokic. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. The size, the skill, the footwork. Jokic has it all. Just a strong move. DeRozan. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Murray. You know his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. He gets it in there. Skilled finish by Murray. He can score inside and outside. Really anywhere on the court. Levine with it. Checked by Murray. Levine can't hit. Pass to Porter. And Vucevic over to help. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That's his first foul. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Yeah, the second man coming over was the key. Great defensive call. DeRozan for three. It's not going to go for him. And the Nuggets going the other way now. To the right side. Outside Porter. Gordon, left side. It's hauled in by the Bulls. They're coming off a loss against Miami. Honestly, they were just outclassed in that one. We thought it would be a tough night for them. <laughs> and it was. Ugly, ugly display. I thought they'd be more competitive, but I was wrong. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Well, when we talk home court advantage, you think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A., and it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body. Trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. And the dunk by Jokic. Does it get any easier than this? Just give Jokic the ball, and he'll take care of the rest. Here's Levine. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Nuggets pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Now a timeout called by Denver. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Now here's Brown. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. One of the premier above the rim players in the game, DeAndre Jordan, doing 
doing what he does best. Pass to Beverly. On the wing, Green. Drummond with the ball. DeRozan outside. Back to Drummond. Five to shoot. Tries it from 19. And down it goes. Two points. The aggressive mindset of DeRozan catches and shoots without hesitation. Inside. Stolen by Drummond. Here's White. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. That free throw, no good. Well, one thing about Kobe White, he has shown promise with his athleticism and shot creation. All he needs now is consistency. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. To the paint. It's stolen by Drummond. Outside White. Pass to Green. The kick out to White. Takes a three. Nice D from Brown. Denver in the lead. Smith outside. Kicks it out to Bryant. And it's good. Two points. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And so the first quarter is in the books. Nuggets ahead. Up five. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Nuggets. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. Here's Jokic. He's off on that one. Vucevic with some nice D. Pass the ball. Back to Levine. And stolen by Murray. To the middle. And the basket by Jokic. Jokic has got eight. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Ball outside. Green for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. On the wing, Porter. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. To the inside. Vucevic with a steal. Outside Levine. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. DeMar is a magnet for defensive attention. You see the overreaction leading to a wide open man. Shot is good by Gordon. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's DeRozan. Porter pulls it in. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Nicole Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Allie. Thanks. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams still looms large. Down low. Here's Jokic. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. 
Jokic has got 10. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. To the middle. And there's a three-second violation. When you're trying to cut into a lead, you can't afford that kind of mistake. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. It feels like once you get a taste of winning, you never want that to end, Grant. But the reality is, for most franchises, it does end for long periods of time. I hope the fans do appreciate this current Bulls team. There's something to be proud of. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Every organization needs team first guys like Patrick Beverly. That's a terrific pass. Jokic with it. And Drummond picks him up defensively. Back to Jokic. Pass to Gordon. Clock at six. And here's Jokic. Drummond defending. And then Porter with the dunk. Incredible work right there on the glass. Just doing all he can to extend that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is really... They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Too easy for a guy of his caliber. The D must put up more of a fight down there. And you have other methods as well. You could deny or you can just front the post. Now a timeout called by Denver. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Jackson down low. Outside for Porter. Off the mark there with a three. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Pass the ball. Here's the three. That one no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Chicago. Yeah, they came up short both times against this team last season. Back to Porter. Kicks it out to Jackson. To the inside. Porter gets the bucket. Porter's gotten four this quarter. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they have executed. Vucevic slams it in. One floor awareness of ball. Excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. To the paint. Kicks it out to Jackson. Poke loose. Up top, Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. And here's Caruso outside. Here's Ball. No good on the buzzer beater. So we conclude the first half. The Nuggets on top. They're up by 11. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Despite all the glitz and glamour around the ball family, Lonzo is the ultimate team first player. Someone everyone wants to play with. Stolen by Ball. Inside. Drummond. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Nikola Jokic. Hard not to bite on Drummond's pump fake. You have to get up quick to have any chance to contest this shot. Two shots. All right, for Lonzo, what makes him such a great teammate, Smitty? What it is, B.A., he's always looking to others first. Lonzo loves to pass the rock. 
Defensively, he gives you full effort. So playing D, sharing the rock like Lonzo does, those traits make you popular in the locker room. Here's Porter. Jokic gets the bucket. Jokic has got 14 points for the game. From second round pick to an absolute star, Jokic can burn you in many ways offensively. Here's Vucevic. Deflected! They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. Ball substitution. Patrick Beverly. And the foul on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Porter with it. Give him eight. Six to shoot. Vucevic with a steal. Levine with it. Checked by Murray. Shoots. And too long on the shot. Vucevic with a steal. DeRozan right side. Vucevic drives in. That one doesn't drop. Great D that time for Porter. Gordon down low. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. They have no answer defensively inside. Both teams will make substitutions. Gordon, no good on the free throw. And talking about Gordon, just a freak athlete and ferocious dunker, a valuable role player on this team. Williams into the lane. Here's Vucevic. And again, Chicago, no good. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. That's what they want from Patrick. Active, aggressive, in-your-face defense. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Pass to Jordan. Back to Gordon. Four on the clock. Shoots over Vucevic. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Levine. And it's Jordan with the rebound. And here's Denver. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And, and what a haul they got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner. And he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. Blocked! Long arms and just great instincts. That's how Gordon finds the big block opportunity. And here is Vucevic. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Jordan, the screen, to the paint. And slam dunk by Jordan. That's DeAndre's go-to play. He sprints toward the cup as soon as he sets the pick to free up some space with his pick. Pass the ball. Fires the three. Rebounded by Green. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Jordan. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Here's Levine for three. The shot that time, not on target. Now Denver takes it the other way. 
Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Two shots. First free throw is good. Few guards in this league shoot under 70% from the line. Smith's well below that mark for his career. He does not get the second one. Down low. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Bryant. Now there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. At the line for Denver. He hits the second from the line. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Here's Ball. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And again, no good by Chicago. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Jokic, no good. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. And Drummond with the jam. This is where Levine has really expanded his game, avoiding tunnel vision and getting others involved. And so it's the Denver Nuggets up 15 points as this quarter concludes. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. We'll be right back. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Here's Terry. Pass the ball to the inside. Drummond. Rejected by Jokic. Assertive defense from Jokic, using all of his reach to get on top of the shot and deny it. Shakes him. Oh, and the jam by Jokic. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Right side, Murray. Pass to Gordon. That shot off. Oh, some solid D from DeRozan. Here are the Bulls with the ball. 15-point game. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Ball's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Another addition to Ball's game, the ability to pull up off the dribble and knock down shots. Pass to Caruso. Brown with the steal. And so the ball out of bounds. Caruso touched it last. And the Nuggets making a change here. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. To the middle. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. And I don't think we've really seen many seven-footers who can pass like Jokic. He's so calm and easy with the ball that almost always makes the right decision. And it's DeRozan missing. The rebounding differential is a major story in this game. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Aaron Gordon Grant growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. And we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. Pass to Caruso. Back to Levine. 
And there's the foul. It's on Michael Porter. Michael Porter That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Coming on to the floor for the court. Williams with it. Shot by Levine, no good. Doubled by Caruso. Down low. Here's Jokic. And once Gordon spots an open guy, he immediately moves the ball. Just well-coached offense right there. Vucevic's shot is off. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. It's been a tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Back to ball. Williams on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Vucevic. Up and over Gordon. Vucevic's shot is off. And here's Denver. They've gone on an 8-0 run. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. To the inside. And it's out of bounds. Out of Still bounds. Chicago's ball. Chicago ball. So both teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's DeRozan missing. You know what? I like the flare, but you blew a layup. You know you've gone way too far. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Nuggets. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And it's another win for this team. 54 victories for them this year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And what a huge performance it was for Nikola Jokic. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. And slam dunk by Jordan. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on him. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Inside. And slam dunk by Jordan. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And he comes up with a bucket. Few players, if any, hit for a higher percentage inside. Jordan playing to his strengths. To halt the run. Here's Ball. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Pass to Jordan. Nice move. And slam dunk by Jordan. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. So no problem for Denver as they get the win. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed 